Okay, excerpt number seven. This is from Ohev Israel. A person sees all the afflictions but his own. The advice for this is to look at the one who is in front of him. If he sees that another person did something wrong, he should think, why did the Creator make me see this thing, if not because this affliction touches the walls of my own house? And because of the incitement of the inclination, my eyes could not see. Meaning, meaning each one judges according to his own flaws, that's the rule. If I see something in a friend, that's a sign, it's in me. And here, when this duality exists, I have to correct myself until I stop seeing these things in the friend, or I need to ask the friend to, cor to correct himself in some way. Does it bother the entire group or only me? How do I detect those things? And see if they are if they exist truthfully or only or not and so on and so forth there are many things many factors and doubts that are beyond our control we'll move towards it what can you do bulgaria no 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 Rav, can I ask about uh, item six? How can I see within the friend within reason that the friends are greater helps me advance in the ten? Because then you're integrated in them, you wish to be incorporated in them, take their examples from them, and that's how you advance. Because then you want to take examples from how them, do and you, then you advance. advance. How do you advance? How do you see, how do you see things? the things? The group, the group is, is the spiritual, spiritual environment where you environment develop. Where you develop. You, if, if you appreciate, appreciate them, them as higher, you can develop. In this world, we look at the world and we develop accordingly, but in the spiritual world, you cannot see. It's only when you're holding on to the friends. This is only, only this gives you the opportunity to develop to higher. Mm, at the higher levels, according to how high the friends are compared to you, you can't do it otherwise. That's why you should always depict the ten in a higher state, and you'll grow accordingly. Our entire work, our, our, our problem, all the problems, when we don't feel that we're advancing, it's because we do not raise the ten relative to each to, to each, each friend. I need to raise my ten each time higher and higher and higher. And together with that, I will also climb higher and higher. And then uh, you will advance in spirituality. But because we're not working on raising the ten in our eyes, we are treading water. So that's the leverage for advancement. In the corporeal world, we advance in corporeality, but in the spiritual world, I don't have spiritual world. I don't know what it is. I have an environment according to how much I invest in the environment, how much I wish to raise it in my eyes, according to my appreciation of the group. Accordingly, I, I can grow. It's all in my hands, and we don't do it. You understand? That's the problem. Uh, I say, I have friends who come later and and hear the uh, recorded lesson. They can make it during the lesson, and I justify them. Uh, but I don't have a 10. I have uh, nowhere to advance. Uh, how can I pull myself towards spirituality? We simply forget about this necessary principle. Azerbaijan. 